Have you ever found yourself between gears in a neutral somewhere other than the real deal between first and second? In this video from the MC Garage, we'll explain why false neutrals happen and how to avoid them. When we explained how a transmission works in a previous video, link up there in case you missed it, we got loads of questions asking about false neutrals. It seems it's a problem that plagues a lot of riders, so we figured we'd explain what's going on mechanically and also offer some tips to help you avoid that dreaded limbo between gears. A false neutral is a neutral that occurs anywhere but between first and second, where true neutral resides. They're most common when you're upshifting between fourth and fifth or fifth and sixth, and they can be very distracting and dangerous since you won't have drive or engine braking as expected. First, let's talk about why they happen. A false neutral is nothing more than an incomplete shift. Say you're cruising down the road and you decide to shift from fifth to sixth gear. You tow the shifter up and it disengages the dogs from one set of gears, but because it's an incomplete shift, it doesn't fully engage the dogs on the next set of gears. The drum, shift fork, and gears are literally between position, and that's possible because there needs to be lateral clearance between gears so that it's impossible for two gears to be engaged at once. The flip side is that no gears can be engaged, but I think we can all agree that that's a much better option than having your transmission explode. When you get a false neutral, your best bet is to pull the clutch in and reshift. Unfortunately, when the transmission does go into gear, it might make a nasty noise. You can help eliminate that or at least reduce it by blipping the throttle to match your engine speed to your ground speed. The best option though is to avoid false neutrals altogether, and the best way to do that is to simply be deliberate with your footwork and push the shift lever all the way through its travel. Yep, it is really that easy. If however you're still having issues with your bike jumping into false neutral or jumping out of gear, you might want to check your shift linkage. You might also have damaged gear dogs, a bent shift fork, or perhaps the shift star has come loose from the shift drum. Another question that cropped up a lot in the transmission video had to do with the clunk that you hear and feel when you shift into gear from neutral at a standstill. That's perfectly normal, and it's just what happens when the dogs on a spinning gear engage with the dogs on a stationary gear or a gear that's spinning at a drastically different speed. I know what you're thinking. If the clutch is pulled in, why is the input shaft rotating? In a perfect, friction-free world, it wouldn't be, but because of fluid drag between the clutch plates, it is in fact spinning. All right, that's it for this video from the MC Garage. I know motorcycle transmissions aren't exactly the most exciting topic, but hopefully you learned something. And I hope you'll subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date with all of our videos. Until next time, ride safe.